All right, candidate, welcome to Whiskey 6. I am Staff Sergeant Dewis. I will be evaluating you throughout all phases of testing today. So your task is you will have to employ and recover an M18 Claymore mine. You will have uh, a condition is that you are a member of a platoon in a patrol base in a non seabird environment. You've been directed to utilize a Claymore mine to enhance the perimeter defense. There is a known enemy presence. The standard is you will correctly employ and fire a Claymore mine in sequence within 10 minutes. You will then correctly recover an unfired Claymore mine in sequence within a five minutes. So at this time, you are going to have 10 minutes to emplace a Claymore and then fire the Claymore at which point your time will stop. Do you have any questions at this time? No. Okay. At this time, verify zeros. Zeros. Your time will begin in three, two, one, begin. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to inventory my equipment. I have my spool of wire with my shortening plug and my blasting cap. Place it in the bandolier. Make sure I have my firing device and my test kit with my claymore. Place it in the bandolier. Make sure that my firing device is on safe. Place it on my shoulder and get into the prone. When I get into the prone, I'm gonna place my weapon arm's length away from me. I'm gonna pull out my firing device and my test kit. I'm gonna remove the rubber caps and tap it against my palm to ensure that there's no debris. I'm gonna do the same thing with my test kit. Once I do that, I'm gonna connect the two. I'm gonna place my firing device in the fire. I'm gonna cover with my hand and look with one eye to press the clacker. I'm gonna state I see the light, place my firing device back in the safe. I'm gonna put that back into my bandolier. Then I'm gonna remove my spool of wire. Once I remove my spool of wire, I'm going to pull out a meter's worth or arm's length distance of wire. I'm gonna hold my shortening plug to my chest with my left hand. I'm gonna extend my right hand with the wire in between my fingers. I'm gonna drop my shortening cap and then I'm gonna tie off. Once I tie it off, I'm gonna place my spool of wire underneath the sandbag. Once I've done so, I'm gonna take out my firing device and test kit. I'm gonna remove the rubber caps, ensuring that there's nothing inside by tapping it gently against my palm. I'm gonna do the same thing. And then I'm gonna test my spool of wire. Placing my fire device in the, in the fire. Looking through, I see the light. Placing my firing device back in the safe. Removing everything and replacing rubber caps so as no debris gets into them. Once I've done so, I'm gonna place my test kit and my firing device back in my bandolier. I'm gonna ensure I have all my equipment. I'm gonna retrieve my spool of wire. And I'm gonna tactfully walk to my in-place position. Tactically walking is defined as keeping your front towards the enemy. Not to turn around and show my back to the enemy. Once I get to the position where I want to in place my wire, I'm going to get back down in the prone taking my weapon, placing it arm's length away. I'm now gonna go through an acronym, which is ATARS, which is aim, tie, arm, re-aim. First thing I'm gonna do is pull up my Claymore. 
Extend the feet perpendicular in 45 degrees. I'm gonna inset my claymore. I'm going to aim my claymore. Once I've aimed my claymore, I'm going to tie. I'm gonna pull my blasting cap out, ensuring that I do not touch the metal portion. I'm going to pull out an arm's length or a meter worth of wire, hold the blasting cap, extend my arm. Then I'm gonna put the blasting cap back into its home. I'm gonna tie off my wire. Then I'm going to take off the shipping plug closest to where I tied off, which is gonna be my right hand side. I'm gonna retrieve my blasting cap, place it into the plug. Once I've placed it into the plug, I'm going to arm my device. After arming my device, I'm going to re-aim. Once I have re-aimed, I'm going to camouflage my claymore and my spool of wire. Once I've done so, I'm going to ensure that I have all my equipment. Place bandolier on my shoulder, retrieve my weapon, tactfully walk back as I camouflage my wire. Ensuring that I keep my front face towards the enemy. Once I get back to my original position, I'm going to get down back in the prone. Place my rifle one meter away from me or arm's length distance. I'm gonna pull out my firing device and my test kit. Again, ensuring that there's no debris slightly tapping against my palm. I'm now going to test the entire system. Once the entire system is connected, I'm gonna place the firing device in the fire. I'm gonna look through, I see the light. Place it back in the safe. Disassemble, replacing all rubber caps. So as no debris gets put inside. I'm gonna place my test kit back in my bandolier. I'm going to then connect my firing device, put it into fire, and say claymore, 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 and clack. All right, so your time to stop, that was 8.05, so you were a go for the first portion. Please verify zeros for the second portion. Zeros. Your time begins in three, two, one, begin. I'm going to first place my firing device back into safe. Detach and replace all rubber pieces. Place my fire device in my bandolier. Untie. Pick my weapon up. I'm sure I have all my equipment. And tactfully walk back to my claymore position. Once I get back to my position, I'm going to stop and I'm going to look to make sure that my munition has not been tampered with and there aren't any booby traps. I'm 
Once I've done so, I'm gonna place my weapon one meter away from me, or arms this distance away. Get into the prone, find my spool of wire. Remove the shipping plug. Ensuring not to touch the blasting cap. Place the shipping plug here. Place the blasting cap back in its home. And replace the shipping plug inverted. Ensuring that I make no secondary movements or do anything with that blasting cap outside of its home. I'm gonna retrieve my claymore. Place it in my bandolier. Ensuring that I have all my equipment. I'm going to untie and begin to police up my wire. Once I policed up some of my wire, I'm going to get up, reshold my bandolier, retrieve my weapon, pick my spool of wire up tactfully walk back to my original position and police up my wire. Once again, ensuring that my back does not get Face towards the enemy, my front is always towards the enemy. At this position, place my spool of wire back into my bandolier. Once I make sure I have all my equipment, I'm gonna close my flap. All right, so once all the equipment's secured inside the bandolier and the cover is closed, that ends his time. So that was 3.37. His task is complete and you are a go at this time. Cool.